Made some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerx coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new ultimate kickoff promo currently in the game. Now at the time we're recording this video, actually the challenges are in the game. There's no sets, there's no packs, and also new signature series are actually up on the auction block. We do have a new signature series though. We have Damon Harrison and Travis Kelsey. Now, like I said for you guys before, I don't really expect the ultimate kickoff promo to really change the market that much. If you guys saw my video yesterday, I told you guys, the ultimate kickoff promo, probably not going to change the market a ton, but Mud Heroes is going to be the big promo, which will probably be coming out, I'd imagine, either the last week of this month or the first week of October. Now, also, I have some more news for you guys. Series 2, we do know now, is actually going to be coming out on the 20th. So, I have some things that I want to tell you guys about uh, Series 2, what I kind of think will be coming out with that. I'll probably drop that video for you guys tomorrow once i actually am back home if you guys don't know currently on vacation i fly back home tonight so i'll be back uh, with my normal setup tomorrow morning for whatever content videos we have and i'll have a video going over series two what i kind of expect to see from it and how you guys can prep for that as well because there's really a lot of stuff with that but with the ultimate kickoff from you guys can see we have 32 challenges and once you actually get to 10 stars in these challenges you get yourself a team captain upgrade token which means you can upgrade your team captain player you also get yourself i believe a total of 17 ultimate kickoff collectibles if you guys are to play this challenge now this promo is a lot lot different than i thought it was gonna be uh last year of course we had the four set players the 90s and then there was a big uh, master set you can trade in all four get them back as n18 and get yourself either antonio brown gronk or keekly it's a little bit different this year. There's still the 491 overall players. I believe they're 91. But then there's a bunch of like 83s, and then they progressively upgrade. I'll go over that once the actual sets are live to show you guys that. But there is an ultimate uh, team captain token exchange set. Also, if you guys want to exchange your team captain, uh, if you happen to have maybe Dallas Clark or maybe someone else you just don't want, you can go and exchange them and pick yourself Ryan Chase here. It's my personal opinion on who you should go with there. But make sure you get these challenges done because there's a uh, team captain token is going to be very important when it comes to upgrading your player. And like I said, Mud Heroes probably coming out the last week of this month or beginning of the next month. That's kind of when the market should expect to see a big change. All right, guys. So I sat here for the past hour and a half. It is currently noon and now these servers are actually down. So I'm not sure when this stuff is actually going to be live in the game. But as you guys already know, and as I said before, I'm currently on vacation and my flight leaves in about five hours from the time I'm making this video. So unfortunately, I don't have time to sit around for the next hour until EA actually gets this stuff up, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything there is with this promo and kind of what you can expect from this promo as well. So starting off, let's get into the signature series. Well, we have Damon Harrison, 90 overall. He's got 57 speed with 71 acceleration, 90 block shed, 84 pursuit, 86 tackling, 71 hit power, 68 jumping. I don't know why I said it's jumping because it doesn't matter. 76 power move and a 62 finesse move. But of course, this is going to be a big block shedding defensive tackle. Now, of course, as a limited time card, Damon Harrison is going to be pretty dang expensive. Is he actually going to be worth the price over, say, Alan Page? Probably not, in my opinion. I'd much rather go with Alan Page. Get a lot more speed, get a lot more pass rush in there as well. But it really depends on what you want to do with your defensive tackles. I guess you could potentially go with Damon Harrison. Now, the other signature series card for today is actually Travis Kelsey, though, which there's quite a few good tight ends out, like, of course, Kittle. Uh, there is also the limited time Kellen Winslow, and now we have Travis Kelsey, who's got 81 speed with 84 acceleration. Also, to mention Zach, uh, Zach Ertz in that conversation. 88 catch, 88 catch in traffic with an 88 spectacular catch. So, actually, pretty dang good in all those. Routing stats seem to be pretty good as well with an 87 jumping. He's also got 67 run block with a 75 impact block and a 73 trucking with 87 jumping. He's also 6'5". So it's a very, very good tight end, in my opinion. Maybe one of the best in the game. I mean, the run block's pretty much up there. Uh, Winslow, obviously, he might be a little bit better. I, I mean, just based off the top of my head, Winslow might be slightly better. Now let's get into the ultimate kickoff promo, though. So we do have four of these master cards now unfortunately i can't show you guys the sets because like i said the sets are not out but i do believe you need 120 of the collectibles to go ahead and get these ultimate kickoff players at least for the 90 win overalls 
and then progressively you need uh, less and less or more and more as you go through the 83s, the 84 overalls, and I'll go into that as well. But you guys can see here, Richard Sherman has got 84 speed with 85 acceleration, 87 man, 94 zone coverage with a 92 press, 94 jumping, 93 awareness, 93 player with a 91 agility. He also has a 74 catching with a 47 block shed and a 66 hit power now of course like i said tomorrow guys i'll have a video out for you guys going over uh series two exactly what i expect to be in series two and how you guys can prep for that so be on the lookout for that we also have got khalil mack which in my personal opinion if you guys have got nat von miller i wouldn't make the switch because khalil mack only has one more speed he's got less block shed and i believe that von miller has 90 power move as well so really it's not a big difference between these two cards. If you already have Vaughn, don't worry about making the switch here. But Khalil Mack is a beast. He's got 86 block shed, 90 power move, 82 speed, 84 acceleration. Will he be cheaper than Von Miller? Maybe. He might, he might be cheaper. He might actually go for more. I don't even know exactly how much these cards are going to go for because obviously the sets aren't out, the packs aren't out. We don't exactly know how much these guys are actually going to be going for. He's also got an 82 hit power though with 85 tackling, 88 pursuit, 89 jumping. He's got a 52 zone cover as well. And... 55 to catch him. I mean, the card is going to be very, very good. Now, of course, he has an 88 overall base elite and a power up that is extremely expensive. So, if you want to power this card up, it's going to be a lot. But he's obviously one of the best defensive ends or outside linebackers in the game. We also have DeAndre Hopkins coming in 87 speed, 88 acceleration with a 94 jump, 90 catch, 90 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch. Absolutely need this card in your team. You guys can see, according to the Mudhead ratings, he's a 99 jump ball slot and a 98 vertical threat with a 99 possession 89 run block and a 95 rack i mean this card is amazing he's also got an 87 short 86 medium 83 deep with a 90 release and a 45 run block now he's also got an 83 juke move which is pretty dang good but in general this deandre hopkins card is going to be incredible so i think i'm probably going to try and get this d hop i might end up selling my jerry rice or i could sell honestly i could sell obj it's really going to come down to do i want to sell obj or do i want to sell jerry rice and i honestly really like obj like for what he's done for my team but i really really want to get this deandre hopkins card now we also got aaron Rodgers as a 91 as well he's got 76 speed 80 acceleration 79 agility 91 throw power 92 short 84 medium 88 deep with an 85 break sack 85 play action and a 90 throw on the run a very very good qb great throwing stats course uh is it worth going with him over say you know steve young lamar jackson the more the scrambling type personally i'd still rather go with steve young that the skate artist is just so good and so overpowered i really think that until you get more qbs that have escape artists i don't see me switching from steve young i know that lamar jackson's well can get it but of course lamar jackson doesn't have as good of throwing stats as say steve young so personally i'm not gonna be making the switch from him anytime soon so now let's get into the rest of the ultimate kickoff promo so i can kind of explain to you guys what the rest of this promo is about so there's going to be sets and unfortunately i can't show you guys these sets right now and show you exactly how many collectibles it costs to get these exact players but i'm going to explain this promo the best that i can for you guys so as you guys can see we have 84 overall players like blake martinez now as you guys can see it says right there in the description this item this items overall will increase by one after each team win to a maximum of 93 and the quick sale value will also increase so every single team has one player now these teams and these players in general cost different collectible amounts to go in and get them because obviously some teams you know are more likely to get 10 wins like the patriots will they get 10 wins yeah they might end up getting 10 wins there's also other players down here like these 83 overalls like the redskins the texans uh some of these guys might not get 10 wins like the cardinals you think the cardinals are gonna get 10 wins probably not you think that the dolphins are gonna get 10 wins absolutely not they're not gonna get 10 wins so there's different costs for this exactly with the collectibles and everything basically they are auctionable they are tradable and you guys can go through use your collectibles and you do get i believe 17 collectibles uh for free from playing the challenges that are in the game but of course you're gonna have to earn the other ones through the sets through other ways to get them through packs and stuff uh so when it comes to these players is it actually worth it to do but here's the thing right they increase by one overall and i know there's gonna be some questions so i already know the answer to these can you use these cards in power-ups no you cannot use these cards in power-ups will these players continue to get upgrades aside from this like if leighton van Esch goes off and gets three interceptions in a game will he get a team of the week card i mean i personally don't know i'd assume yes though 
but well, that's really up to you and they'll have to decide on that as well so with some of these cards it's a, a little bit weird and i really don't understand if i like this promo yet or not because basically with this they can only go up to 93 overall which means let's say these players got you know 10 wins what's the odds of any of these teams going 10 and 0 right so in 10 weeks that is going to be at the end of november i really really don't think that this is actually going to be worth doing into these cards if you're expecting these cards to be like super super good at the time you're going to be getting them. like a 93 overall player 10 weeks from now yeah it'll be a good card right but how many teams are going to get 10 and 0 probably not very likely maybe 11 or 12 weeks from now there'll be a team that actually gets to 10 wins so in three months from now we're looking at the middle of december there will be 93 overall cards out 94 overall cards out 95s probably with the christmas promo and everything coming out with that so really i i'm not a big fan of this promo i gotta say i'm not a big fan of these ultimate kickoff players with them only going up to a 93 overall i wish they would let it go higher than that because honestly only going to a 93 yes the training quick sell value of these cards go up yes you can auction them yes you can trade them but is it actually like is it something really really awesome about this personally i don't really think so now, unfortunately, like I said before, I can't exactly show you guys the sets, so I don't know exactly how much it actually cost to go ahead and complete some of these players. But with that being said, that's going to be it for the video for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy the video. Try to go with the promo as best as I possibly can. Unfortunately, like I said, the servers are actually down right now, and there's still absolutely nothing that we really know about this. Part. Like, There's nothing up anywhere in the game because we can't even get into the game so that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video tomorrow i have a video going over series two which you guys can kind of expect to see from that hope you enjoyed the video i'll have a no money spent video after you guys later today i'll see you guys next time